welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news and more travel vlog so please keep watching and let's jump right into it. Now the advice um, that I would give to you um, if you're living in the UK is for this year and next year you would be better off to book a UK holiday because you won't have to quarantine and if your trip doesn't go ahead um, then you haven't spent say an awful lot of money uh, compared to um, if you went say from say the UK to America or UK to Australia etc etc or you know that, uh, yeah, that to be fair you'll at least probably need three to a month out there um, and maybe not a lot of people um, will have the time to, to be able to spare that especially if you work for a company if you work on your own then um, obviously it's up to uh, you and obviously your business but um, you would be better to book say a day trip or and say a weekend or a holiday um, in the UK um, particularly in quieter resorts um, such as say Filey in North Yorkshire um, Bexhill in East Sussex um, say Lou or some, uh, somewhere in Cornwall um, or um, you would probably be better say g uh, going to a national park uh, such as the Peak District, Lake District, New Forest etc in the UK. If you're wanting to go to Wales then you'd probably be better at a resort um, such as like uh, Porth Quall which is a small uh, a smaller resort or you would um, if you wanted to go to Scotland be probably better off um, on the Highlands um, or um, one of the Hebride Islands somewhere you know where it's um, isolated. Um, also, Northumbria is um, a good bet as well. Um, towns uh, such as Annick, Bambra um, in Northumberland. Um, they uh, they would probably again would be your your best bet um, if you're wanting. Uh, to um, book a week's holiday or um, if you not if you live not far away from that area then maybe go for a day trip or a weekend um, but yes that is my th thoughts really um, because you definitely wouldn't have to quarantine and you wouldn't have to 
um, you would pay less for your travel insurance than going ab abroad. Um, so um, it's little th it, things like that uh, that you would be able to save money on as well. Um, so let's jump right into the latest travel facts worldwide and they are Norwegian Airlines first of all unveils new sustainability strategy airline which is airline news Norwegian airline has launched a fantastic substantial sustainability stra strategy that will see it see uh, see through um the co2 admissions so it's environmentally friendly wow by 45 percent by 2030 so it's looking to cut the co2 admissions by 2030 the carrier as goals in line um, with Paris agreement so that looks like it's going to be fantastic news again for the future you can travel environmentally more environmentally friendly and I really hope it goes as well as possible. Number two, Love Holiday is the latest to resign from Avatar membership because a growing dispute over refunds. Unfortunately, the online travel company follows a on the beach resigning resigning membership of the trade body unfortunately so it's it's an online company love holiday but unfortunately if you did book by those love holiday you wouldn't be at all protected so again if say anything up goes wrong then you may not be again guaranteed a refund um which is again re really sad um moving on to number three um the dark group become jet jet two plc as travel focuses grows and airline news basically the dark group has basically changed its name into jet 2 plc uh, to basically have a share in the company which owns the leisure airline and holiday provider jet2.com and are now trading under jet2 ticker so that company has emerged with jet2.com again i hope those two companies can work fantastically together um fingers crossed they'll both do well they'll do well both together Number four, Soy QQ, excuse my pronunciation, goes carbon free in Argentina, which is basically an operation organization. And um, again, I'm all for these new and environmentally friendly ways to travel and um, because they help protect the environment and um, 
again this is like a Chinese uh, company and I really hope it has the best of luck anyway um, getting off the ground and number five uh, Voco brand to go global uh, with the launch in China and the U US and that is a new brand brand hotel news so there are new brands uh, coming uh, to the world which is extremely uh, brilliant and good so people can have more choice and who to uh, stay with and more options and I hope the brand has the best to look as the best of luck and hopefully they'll come to the UK one day. Number six, PO Cruises unfortunately cancels all departures into 2021. Again, um really it's the COVID news in the UK that like there could be a second wave and obviously P&O cruises uh, don't want to take any chances so they've cancelled all departures into 2021 hopefully in 2022 they'll be able to come back and um, everything will go brilliantly for them number seven euro wing is to replace ryanair at dusseldorf airport in germany so again it is good that dusseldorf airport in germany um has got another airline called euro wing um to come to that airport um, which is really good news so it gives people more travel options to what airline they would would like to use and finally number eight Thomas Cock relaunches an online travel agency so you can actually um, if you wanted to book with uh, Thomas Cook like the Chinese company have brought Thomas Cook out and they are doing an online travel agency so anybody that wants to book online and doesn't want to book over the phone or at a travel agency that is again um, a brilliant option if you wanted to so yay there is a lot of good news so and again there is a light at the end of the tunnel in my respect but we just have to wait and thank you for watching please everybody stay safe and the next hi everybody the, the next travel video I'm going to be is my channel's latest updates and improvements that I've managed to be able to do this week so I hope everybody's having a great time and I'll see you on Saturday at 6 p.m. and thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye